everyone. This is a real short video. I just wanted to share the calendar that I made my grandma. If you're new to my calendar, my uh, channel, my calendar, uh, I make a calendar for my grandma every month. Uh, she's been in a nursing home for a little over two years. Uh, she turned 101 in May and she just puts them on her closet. She just loves to get them and, and all her friends and the nurses and stuff, they seem to fuss over and it. She just, I don't know, she's a funny gal. So let me explain to you what I did here. Uh, the July the Happy Birthday America and the Numbers are all a Cricut Design Space font called Boink Com, B-O-I-N-K-C-O-M. Love, love this font. I have to remember this when I do my scrapbook layouts. And basically what I did was I just, you know, created the July word and used, the, I'll show you the paper here in a second, used the specialty paper. And then I also typed Happy Birthday and America using the Create a Text part of the Cricut Design Space. And I just kind of moved all the letters together so they were somewhat overlapping and then I welded them. So it's not, I didn't have to sit there and glue, you know, every single individual letter. The fireworks are from Standard Salute Cr Cricut Cartridge. And this is a real, um, I'm going to say it's a little bit thicker glitter paper than normal. And I don't know where I got it from. It's in a paper pack and I tried to find the cover to it, but I just couldn't. Isn't that pretty? Um, so I cut this with my deep cut blade on my Cricut Explore Air 2 and uh, it worked out really pretty so I'm happy with that. Uh, the flags, this is how it looks like when you pull it up on the Cricut Design Space and that is actually from, um, and I didn't write it down. Anyway, so if you want to put a flag on there you can. But what I did was I changed the colors a little bit and then I flattened it. Then I copied, I pasted it, and I flipped it or I mirrored it, they, that's how you refer to it in Cricut Design Space, to, uh, so that I could have one on each side. The stars are just Cricut Design Space, insert shape, and I did the stars at one and a half inches. So that is it. Um, the one thing I do want to do is I want to cut off the border and I want to share the paper. This I got at a scrapbook expo, and I'm sure some of you recognize this because um, I saw a lot of people there. I'm sure most of you were there as well a couple of years ago actually this is an Echo Park paper pack it's called Birthday, Birthday Wishes by Alicia Gordon and it comes with the stickers it comes with all the paper but this red paper and this blue paper is what caught my eye when I was going through my paper packs to try and find something to make for this calendar um, anyway so that that's fun oh I think I got everything Thank you so much for watching. Um, have a great day, and if you have any questions, just leave it in the comment section, and I'll get back to you. Thanks.